Hello, happy Tuesday. I hope you're doing well. I am going to try and share this to my um, page so people can see it. Um, not really sure how to do that, so <laughs> we will see. Oh, here we go. Cool. Okay. Uh, sorry, it's taken a second. Um, I hope you're having a good um, Tuesday. We are gearing up for a long weekend, so that's exciting. Um, I have little ones going to come and join me, so if you see them, that's what they're doing. So. <laughs> Hi, Mom. Um, just gonna hang out for a second and see if people come on, so just doing that. Um, no, we're not gonna open them. Mommy's gonna open them, okay? Um, so we'll just kind of hang out until some people come and see if there's any, um, anyone joining um, and I also wanted to answer some questions um, that I had um, on my group page which is a sense of place with Amy J so um, if you have any questions about that um, we can see what's going on there I don't know who's live so if you are live if you could Say hello and let me know you're here. And that would be fun. Hi. Oh, she's going to say hi. Say hi, Finn. Hi. You got your uh, thing hanging out here. So, there we go. All hi. set. Hi. Okay, so, hello, hello. I can't see who you are. So, if you are live, could you please tell me? Or not, that's fine too. Oh, hey, Steph. Oh, that's how you do it. Huh. That's kind of cool. Okay, so um, you just keep swiping. Awesome. Okay, so I Hi. saw there were some questions that people had um, yesterday. Um, Steph, I hope your day is going a little bit better than it did yesterday. Um, I wanted to kind of hop on here because I know that you had some questions. Um, there were a couple about like starting to do yoga and deciding if, um, ah! hey, if you're going to be here, you have to be nice, okay? Um, ah! No, no, that's not nice. I want to get baby. Okay, then go get the blankie. Um, so, um, I'm actually going to post a video. I'm going to do, um, because I know you said maybe you were gonna have to, you know, decide which one you wanted to do, and um, if it was yoga or Finley. No, no, can I have that, please? Sorry, she's gonna color all over the walls. <laughs> With a marker, um, which isn't good, so. Um, Finley, can you please go? Go find out. Hey, go find out what Layla's doing so we can go swimming later, okay? Go find out what Layla's doing so we can go swimming. Mom, uh, put it back. back, Mom. You don't. Put it back. back. Put it back, please. Okay. Go put it back where you got it. Um, sorry. Two-year-olds are sometimes really great and sometimes they... Hey, no, no, no. Now she's erasing my wet board. Okay, go find Layla. Let's see what Layla's doing. Please? No! Go find out what Layla's doing, please. No. Okay, um, I promise I will get through this. So, I wanted to post a video. Um, I'm going to share my practice. Um, and it's one that I do every single day. It literally takes about five minutes. And then... Um, Finley, please stop. Where's your ponies? Go get your ponies. Can you go find your ponies for mommy? Go find the ponies. Um, so I, it takes me about five minutes. It's called um, sun salutations. So hi Becky. Um, so that's what I do. Um, I 
it takes, like I said, five minutes maybe, um, and it helps me to kind of get my mind straight and to help me be able to um, really just kind of get set up for the day and I'm able to stretch and do a little bit of, you know, like clearing my mind a little bit. Um, so I do, um, I know you can't, Stephanie, I know you, you don't want to get up at 5 a.m. Um, that's when I prefer to do it because I have little monsters that don't leave me alone. Um, but on the weekends, they come and join me, so they'll come and do yoga while I'm doing my um, journaling or meditating or um, gratitude journal and things like that. So um, I, my whole routine for mornings are I get up like 5.30 usually. Um, I don't know what my toddler is doing, so <laughs> we'll see how it goes. But um, so I get up and I read. Um, 10 to 15 minutes of personal development. I also do a gratitude and manifestation journal. Um, I do a little bit of meditating. I do um, some energy work. So I've been working with the Arcturians, which if you have any questions, um, Becky is amazing at it. Um, and she's also teaching me to be amazing at it. So kind of to work with their energy. Um, so either one of us can help you with that. So, um, so I do that, and I also do sometimes Reiki, um, but I'm finding that with the Reiki, it's like the Arcturians are just such high vibe and just like make my head like literally spin and my eyes kind of like, when I send it to people, it's more powerful. I feel like I'm getting more out of it than if I just do um, the Reiki. And honestly, the Reiki takes like 45 minutes and it's just like, I have a hard time um, kind of getting it together and um, keeping my mind on it the whole time. And with the Arcturians, it's like super, super fast. Um, and they have pretty cool dragons. So if you um, are interested in that, um, let me know because I have a special going. Um, so, oh, you found your blanket? Good job. Thank you. Oh, she's gonna read to you guys. She's gonna read about your chakras. So, hello for those who have just joined us. Hi, Kristen. Um, Mom, hi, Carson. Oh, Finley saying hello, Kristen. <laughs> um, so I I prefer to do the Arcturian work because um, I just feel like I'm getting a lot more out of it and getting um, more for my clients. So that's really really a lot of fun. Um, and then I always pull a card, um, and then I you know put on the oils that are calling to me. And hello, hi, Megs. Hello from down under. <laughs> um, so I put on some oils and I do my morning yoga routine, which is about five minutes. Um, and then if I have, you know, like weekends or days where, you know, I don't have to do the whole carpool routine with the kids, then I will um, do that as well. Oh, did you? You should have said something. I could have gotten you signed up. Darn it. <laughs> Um, that's so sad, but that's okay. I'm sure the person you signed up with is amazing and they will teach you just as much too. So, um, anyways, so I liked, lately I've been using, um, Balance. I've been using Breathe. Um, and then I've also been using Burma. Okay. Um, I've also been using, um, Bergamot because those three, and I don't know, Megs, you'll have to check. Um, I don't know what they are in Australia, so you'll have to find um, what they are. But um, the balance really helps me to kind of get out of my head. The breathe helps me to remember to breathe because even though I do work with energy, I do yoga, I do, um, you know, all this other stuff, um, I still forget to breathe. So yes, balance is one of my favorites. Um, so I will put breathe under my nose and on like my chest area. Um, and then also bergamot is one of my favorites. It helps to evoke feelings of self love and um, gratitude and it helps to open up the heart chakra, um, which for me, I, what, I didn't grow up showing emotions or knowing how to deal with emotions um, because that was part of my childhood that I've continued to work through and um, I'm actually doing pretty well with it, so yay. 
Um, but you know, there's always those feelings of self-worth and, you know, really understanding if, you know, you can, you can do it or not. So, um, I like Bergamot for that. Um, and then I also, um, hi Finley. So this is a new thing that I really like to do. Um, I actually made this because I, um, well, I'm, I'm saving space for clients, one-to-one -one clients. So, um, but I'm also, you know, it's a good air freshener little thing. So I took an empty bottle and I emptied it out. And then I used geranium, white fur, and clary sage um, to call in a specific client who needs help with, um, you know, their generational issues. They need space cleared. They need um, that available for them. And then they also need, like, Geranium is really great for your heart, um, the heart chakra as well. Um, it's very, very flowery, <laughs> so I don't like to, you know, wear it a lot by itself. So that's why I prefer bergamot or bergamot, however you say it. Um, and bergamot, bergamot is a citrus oil. So um, if you're out in the sun, just be careful. Um, know that you know that will increase the sensitivity to it. So. Um, but I like to use that, um, and then I've add, I think I added like 10 or 15 drops of each, maybe 20, um, and then I filled the rest up with, um, I think I used witch hazel, which is a astringent, and then I use little, like, um, these are actually, um, skewer sticks, so I just cut them in half, and then I put them in, and then it's like a little mini diffuser, so... Um, that's kind of like my newest obsession and it's also great for if you are, um, you know, trying to call in new clients. Um, this is like, instead of burning candles for them, you're actually going to hold space for them and it's non-toxic and you can see these little grabby hands, um, want to get everything. So, um, she actually has tipped this one over. So it's literally, I don't know if you can see it, but it's, it's come up the, the stick um, and what's on the stick is all that's left of the scents, but, um, I will definitely be remaking this one because I really like it. So, um, but you can use it all over the house. Um, you don't just have to use it for, you know, I have it in my office, um, by my crystals actually, um, just because I do. That's where I chose to put my little altar thing. Um, but I, I will do back to my morning routine. Sorry. Um, I'll do reading and then I will also um, do my journaling. I like to journal. Um, no, no. I have a manifesting journal and then I also have a gratitude I... journal. Um, and then I have a, another journal for like my Akashic records and just like free writing. I... Um, so I have lots of journals. I don't know if you guys I... um, do. Yes, Steph, you should take it to your office. And Meg's too if you um, don't want to run a diffuser. Um, no. you know, and like where you're cutting your client's hair, um, because they might have sensitivities to smells and things like that, then, um, that would be another great option for you. Um, and you could even do, um, hey, don't eat it. Yucky. <laughs> um, you could even do, um, just like other bottles. Um, they don't have to be like empty bottles because if you just enrolled with them, then you probably don't have anything empty, but... Um, you could do like other glass bottles and then use toothpicks or other, um, diffusing reeds and things like that. So, Finley, please. Um, you could do other things like that and then, um, it wouldn't be so strong. Like you would be able to smell it, but the diffusing sometimes can be a little bit strong for people, especially if they have sensitivities to different scents and things. Um, so like we talked about stuff though, like it's, it's really what works for your schedule. So some days I get completely through like my whole list of, you know, journaling and reading and pulling cards and, um, meditation and, um, yoga and all that stuff. Sometimes I get through it before, here, rocks, come here, yeah. crystals. Um, sometimes I get through it before both of my kids wake up or before, um, like I have to take them to school, but other times I have to stop and just finish, you know, when I can throughout the day. So, um, it's really about what works for you. 
Um, and if you need to move your journaling and personal development right before bed, then do it. Um, you know, it's going to allow you to, um, you know, kind of finish your day on a positive note, but it also will let you like do a brain dump and like get all the, you know, what you've been thinking about throughout the day. It'll allow all that stuff to kind of clear and you can go to bed with a clear head and, you know, you can start, you can have dreams and you can connect and, um, if you ever have any questions, Meg's is, um, very intuitive and, um, she's been, she's psychic, I think. Um, you can correct me if I'm wrong, Meg's, but, um, she, you know, can kind of help you if you have any questions with that. I know, um, she does that, but she also does hair, but she lives in Australia. So if we ever visit Australia, I will definitely be getting, um, haircut from Meg's, so. <laughs> Um, anyway, so it's really about making a routine that works for you and being able to stick to it. So if that means you have to, you know, do half of it in the morning and do half of it at night, um, then do it. You know, it, it's really what works for you. So I know, you know, you like sleep. Yes, Finley. I know. You pushed the button. Good job. Um, it's really about, you know, what works for your schedule and if you're not willing to or if you need you know more sleep then you do the sleep and then you know you do whatever is left before you go to bed some days even on the weekend um some days i find myself um yeah follow her follow her page steph follow meg's meg's page it's kind of hard to say together but um so it's really about what making works for you. Some days I have to go, okay, go night nights. Tell everyone bye and say good night. Okay then, let mommy finish, okay? Um, it's about what works for you. So, you know, chest it out. Try a couple different things. Um, you know, if, if you find that you can squeeze in your um, journaling or, you know, reading for five minutes instead of 10, um, in the morning, then do it. Um, if there are mornings where you find that, you know, you, oh, you want to read the cards to them. Is it that time? Um, if you find that you want to, um, you know, if you come to a point where you can wake up earlier or you just start waking up because you know it's your intuition telling you you know you need to get up and do it then do it um but until then you know make make it work for you and um you know if that means winding down before you go to bed then wind down before you go to bed so um i am gonna pull some cards because she is telling me that i need to so um and she's usually pretty right so <laughs> i think they're kind of upside down and all that stuff. So, does that all make sense? Do you have any questions about anything? I pick one. You want to pick one? Yeah. Okay. Which one are you going to pick? Uh, Which one do you want? Uh, that one. That one? No. Oh, you got two. Well, I guess we'll get both of those. Okay. So, the first one. And I'm, I'm drawing from um, Notes from the Universe on Abundance by Mike Dooley. So I'm kind of feeling like there's been an abundance theme going around and like worth and wealth and all that stuff. Um, here. Okay, so the, they have amazing pictures on the back. Um, these are the two that she picked. So both water, so that's kind of cool. Um, so this one says, you're wondering how would be as silly as me wondering why. I don't and neither should you. I mean, let's not be that crazy, the universe. So if you're wondering why or how about something or you're asking questions about, you know, a job or money or decision or anything like that, um, don't wonder because then you're going to cloud your brain with things that um, should be just happening um so if you want to do something you think it and finley is ruining my cards <laughs> um just think it and then say okay here's what i want universe um this is what i choose and it's up to you to 
do it and I'm leaving it up to you. I'm not gonna worry, I'm not gonna any of that stuff. So um, that's the first one. And then this one is, it has a question. It says, question, what do rich folk day, daydream and visualize about? And the answer is, yeah, whatever they want. And then the question is, and what do poor folk daydream and, re, and visualize about? And the answer is, yeah, whatever they want. So, you know, whether you're rich, whether you're poor, whether you're, you know, well, whatever it is, like, we all think, think the same things. It's whatever we want. So, if you want to have abundance and if you want to um, be successful, rich, whatever you're wanting, you're thinking the same thing as the person that you're, like, looking up to and you're idolizing and things like that. So, do, I mean, believe what you want, but believe that you can be successful and you can be rich and you can be abundant and you can do whatever you want. So, um, that's only going to get you further than if you believe that you can't do those things. So, um, I was going to talk a lot more, but Finley seems to be needing my attention. So, um, if you don't have any questions, um... I'm going to hop off of here. I'm going to let you guys have a good rest of your night and a good, um, I think it's Wednesday there, right, Mix? I love this deck, actually. It's one of my favorites um, because it's, actually, it's Tuesday there, right? Because you're, you're a little bit behind us, so. Um, but it's, it's really a great deck. It has, like, all these nature scenes, and there's snow, and there's, um, there's like fall and there's summer and it's just a great deck. I love it. So, um, but I will post a video that I do, um, of my morning yoga routine because I mean, there were questions about it and I don't want it to be like something that holds you back. I wanted to make sure that you were um, supported in it and if it helps, you know, it'll help me too because it'll help me get out of my comfort zone, but it'll also help you because you'll have a really short, concise um, routine that you can feel comfortable doing bye. on a daily basis. Um, can you tell them bye? Bye. Okay, we'll see you later. Love you guys. I love you.